Hi guys, I am back. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, like the video. It helps with engagement or awareness or whatever it is. Um, but welcome back to my channel. I'm using a fan and my AC is on because I'm really hot. Like, might as well be on menopause or something or going through menopause. But yeah, um, as you can see from this video, it's all about the real reason I moved to Ghana. The real reason. So yeah, stick around and let's get into it, okay? <laughs> okay, so the real reason. So when I, I think I came to Ghana after 19 years, uh, yeah, 19 years in 2017, and I'll be honest, I swear, I feel as if like um the West indoctrinated me into thinking that, you know, Ghana's gonna be this horrible place and I'm not going to be able to have a shower inside the house, I have to go and shower outside, or there's not gonna be any real roads. Well, I mean, there's still not really good for, anyway. But you know what I mean? I thought it was gonna be something really, really terrible. And bring in mind, when I was younger, I used to live in Ghana, so I don't know where I got this notion from. It's just mad. But that's what happened. And um, I got to Ghana. You can ask anyone. I was so anxious about coming. I was just like, oh, this is not going to be a good time. Bearing in mind, and I came for a month. I came for a whole month. So if I didn't like it, it is what it is. I was here for a month. I had to like it. Do you know what I mean? So um, I remember being, I stayed, at my, I stayed at my uncle's house in East Ligon and um first day mm, second day mm. by day three i wanted to throw away my british passport it was all over i didn't care about england again i didn't want to know england again like i just loved it i loved um like literally you can walk through a crowd and there's music playing or you hear crack 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 <laughs> <laughs> like that's like the cho cho drivers say cra 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 la pa la pa all this stuff like they're just trying to tell you where they're going if you wanna get on the cho cho they just it was just a nice vibe and bearing in mind I came in December sorry came in December so like it was just partying so I thought it can't be like this throughout the whole year but anyway that December mwah, epic the best. December I've ever experienced. And I've been coming to Ghana every December since 2017. Like I haven't the last Christmas I spent in England was 2016. Yeah, mad, mad. But yeah, I loved it. So I continue to come to to Ghana quite a lot. I came at Easter, I'll come during the year. And then um when COVID happened, my contract just ended because this asshole of a woman, but we won't get into that. But my contract ended and um, I came to Ghana for my grandmother's funeral. And obviously COVID happened. So when I went back to England, all of the interviews I had set up, all of the new roles and the contracts I was setting up, it was just over with. It was just like, we don't know what we're going to do. We have business with China, so we don't know what we're going to do. So I was like, okay, then what am I gonna do? Um, so I think after a couple of months, my sister already went after a couple of months i was like sod it like right now we're in a large prison london just felt like a big prison i'm in my house i can't go to the supermarket i can't go to here i can't i just can't breathe and obviously covid is real do you know what i mean so i just left it alone and just said i'm, I'm going i was like oh sorry i'm going to take oh this van no mama no hold on okay yeah my eyes are watering guys but yeah so after that happened I, up, I went to Ghana just to myself. Um, I'm gonna be here till December. So I went to Ghana in, as, no, I said to myself, I'm gonna go to Ghana in July. July became August. August became September. It just kept getting pushed back. And then I just bought a ticket for October 24th. And yeah, and I was sad. I'll be honest with you, me deciding to come to Ghana wasn't like I was, um, it wasn't simply because I loved Ghana it's just that in London I started to feel so suffocated and I just felt like there was some sort of glass ceiling and you know what I didn't feel free irrespective of COVID I didn't feel free anymore I just started feeling like 
like I was living for the weekend, like I was living for the event at the end of the month. Do you know what I mean? But in Ghana, don't get me wrong, I get lonely out here sometimes or bored, and I'm a bit of a recluse. Like people think I'm bubbly, and I am, but I'm hella shy. Like I don't really like to talk to everybody, but I try to overcome that shyness by talking too much, if that makes sense. So, um, but yeah, London just felt like it was suffocating me, and I hated the vibe. Like everyone or some people just seem so it just it just wasn't for me so me even coming to Ghana in October it really wasn't supposed to be permanent it was just to probably till January and January became March and March became May and May became June and June became July and then uh, back but uh, one of the biggest things that I was so scared of I'm getting hot again yay one of the biggest things I was scared of was um, my friendships and the people that I knew because I'm somebody if I love people like I love them deep like I am right or die to the end you need me to go to Scotland let's go like you know you need, you need to pull up I don't need the reason you ask me I'm there kind of thing like I really love the people in my life so I was really concerned that those bonds would break or they'd be impacted in negative ways I was just really scared about losing people in my life that I love so much and don't get me wrong, since I have moved, like some of my relationships, like that I know it have, some of them have dissipated, some of them have really taken a back seat, some of them, I don't know, it, it, they have retracted or regressed in a way. Um, but you know what, I believe in God, I feel like if, if you know, if people that are for you are for you, and I'm really thankful for the people that actually stayed around in my life and the ones that are consistent in being there and the ones that still allow me to be part of their life but yeah that was like the biggest fear my biggest fear was even coming and becoming broke and let me tell you something about Ghana y'all Ghana's hard like hey huh? when people are telling me oh you know Ghana's hard across hard everything is hard in Ghana why do you want to kill yourself to go there why don't you just stay here you did law you can do this and I was like, honestly, it's true. Like, when I think about what I could be doing in London, even for my business and stuff, it's true. But I've never been one person to take the easy route in general. Like, I always tend to take the hard route and then cry while I'm doing it. And ask God to help me and I want to give up and everything. But in the end, like, God is so faithful. Everything always works out, everything. So I'm not really... I'm not scared I'm still a bit you know I'm still getting used to things I've been in Ghana for almost a year now and it's still pretty hard like one thing that is still a bit of a it's still, I'm still getting used to is entrepreneurship in Ghana honestly money can come like drah, pa, pa, like ta, 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 serious and then there'll be a moment when it's just like okay I'm scared I'm not going to London I'm not going to go back like you know it happens that way and um i've had that season i'm having that season right now i'll be thinking uh where the cash at you know what's going on you know i mean i've been buying some things i shouldn't be buying as well some things that the price is not mathing but i want it something eh, you only live once kind of thing but um yeah but i know that everything by god's grace is gonna work out everything's gonna work out one thing i keep when i keep asking people about the experience moving to ghana and how it's been they always say the same thing in the beginning even for a couple of years it could be difficult but it will it will work out it will work out so everyone in london that's always like, oh yeah i want to move to ghana i want to move back to ghana just do it because the truth is you're never really going to be 100% set up like there's a motto in Accra and, and they say that you know you may have a plan but Accra has a plan for you honey Accra has a plan for you and that is the truth so I would really advise that if you want to move to Accra give yourself a trial period and yeah see what, how it goes um, but yeah that's like like I, I feel like someone give me the real reason but yeah my real reason anyway was I just wanted to be happy I just wanted to experience joy in abundance and just feel free it's the freedom for me it's the freedom for me it's the no um no getting a ticket do you know what used to piss me off about london getting unexpected tickets that tickets that i hadn't even seen suddenly a whole year goes by and i owe you what 500 pounds otherwise bailey's gonna what the hell otherwise oh bailey's are gonna come to your house if you don't pay it like that used to piss me off like just different tickets different bills different fines different tax 
so yeah aside from aside from the tickets part it's not the end of the world like i do miss london a lot sometimes like i miss the control of it and knowing what i'm gonna do all the time like when i need to go to a meeting what time i'm gonna get there and i'm actually gonna get there at that time and everybody else is gonna get there at that time because Ghanaians don't know how to keep time it's so annoying but i don't think i'd ever give up Ghana completely for London like I don't think I'd settle or have children and raise them in London not like that um, I think 50% here 50% London that works for me right now but as far as like living back in London full term full time I, I don't think so well yeah I have to go now I'm actually running out of time I have to go but if you made it this far through the video thank you so much subscribe comment something like it share it and I'll see you next time Mwah!